Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. And today we have a game between Zhu Lang and Liquid Thermal here on Sequencer, the latter edition. In the top right hand corner of the map, we have the Blue Terran player. It is Thermy, also known as Liquid Thermal, also known as U Thermal. And in the bottom left hand corner of the map, we have the Red Zerg player. It is Zhu Lang. So this is a ZVT from the opening stages of a WCS of Valencia. If you want to see this replay, head on over to lotv.spawningtool.com and type in Zhu Lang in the player one field and Thermi in the player two field and look for Sequencer the Ladder Edition. All right, pool first here out of Zhu Lang, which hmm, this is a pretty big map for three racks Reaper and a pretty big map for uh, six Zergling harassment on the natural of your Terran opponent. But I suppose they're just playing it safe because they want to make it into the round of 16 here. Uh, yes, double barracks here from you, Thermal. With one gas, we're going to see a third one coming up here. It's going to be a three racks Reaper, which means our Zerg player was very smart indeed to go for pool into Extractor and then hop on over into Hatchery. It just allows you to get up Lings faster, get up Queens faster, get up Roaches and Ravagers faster, which in general, I firmly believe Ravagers is the answer to this as a Zerg player if you can get there. If you can get there in time, which is harder to do if you want hatch first, which is why more Zerg players are just blindly going pool first. There's that first Reaper. We do have a Reaper group name ready to go. You guys suggested a bunch of those last week or a couple weeks ago when I actually used a bunch of them. And yes, this one's going to be the evil group. Starring, see no, hear no, speak no, and sometimes smell no, evil. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are silly. You people are silly. All right, so this is the evil Reaper group. Mwahahaha. First one that comes out is the Sino. Mr. Sino Evil. Coming on down. I don't think the Overlord saw it, but I don't think it really matters. Seeing one Reaper at this point is not crazy. It's actually a... Is it a two? That's the third barracks. Okay, I was going to say, a two racks Reaper is interesting. Don't know what you would do with that. Queen production, one already done. One on the way from Zhu Lang here. Speed about 30% complete, two. And Queen getting some nice shots off on our first See No Evil Reaper. Again, one Reaper, not enough to freak out about, but he does have an evolution chamber coming up, interestingly enough. Lings on the creep again, faster than the Reaper, but off the creep without speed, they are slower. So that's why he's pulling him back to the creep, Zhu Lang is, every time the Reaper tries to drag them off. And so far, one Reaper, now two Reapers are here, and now it is crazy time. Now Zhu Lang knows what is happening. The Reaper's just ignoring the Queens and the Lings entirely, trying to take off some of these drones. They've got one. Oh, is that two? That is one. That is one and a couple Lings so far. So pretty good defense here from Zhu Lang. Got a Creep Tumor spreading that Creep out further away from the Natural Hatch. The more space you can have to operate with your Queens and Lings, the better. Speed's almost done, though. Plus one Ground Carapace being researched by Zhu Lang now here as well. Triple pumping the Reapers back home is Liquid Thermy and expanding behind it. So here we go. Zhu Lang, can you do this against one of the better Reaper players on planet Earth? In you thermal got the lings with the speed but after the reaper group gets to a certain size about seven or eight the lings have a real hard time getting that surround because kd8 charges thrown down at their own feet by the reapers is enough to do a lot of damage and scatter those lings away so the surround is broken meanwhile more lings in production some trying to sneak up this right side here get some harassment on i guess i don't know about this though maybe trying to get a surround on the reapers trying to see if there's a place they can get some damage done at least maybe force the Reapers to pull back. That seems like something we could see as well. But regardless, creep spreading continue here. Or creep spread continues here from Zhu Lang. Ling's trying to knock down. There we go. Getting some free shots off in these barracks. A couple of Reapers are home. Three of them, actually, unsurprisingly. And they're going to chase the Ling's away. So you're not getting through this wall. Euthermal's too good to allow Ling's to kill him back home in this situation. And it's going to be Zhu Lang with Zerglings with plus one ground carapace at some point here. It is going to be in about 30 seconds, about 35 seconds, which can feel like an eternity in StarCraft 2. Just an eternity. If you were to ask me how that feels, having been on the other end of it, the other end of a 3 racks Reaper, 30 seconds is a long time. Ling trying to knock down this debris that helps wall off the front door for you, Thermal. Also, these other, these other debris is being protected. At the same time, the longer this goes on, though, the more I feel like Shu Ling's okay. Hasn't really spent any gas to this point at all. Let's take a look at resources. Well, resources loss is basically nothing. There's a spending tab. There it is, spending tab. But it doesn't break it down. 
by gas, unfortunately. Rats. Okay, so there, maybe there's a way to do it. I just don't know. Here come the Reapers. They're going to try to force a cancel on this third base that Zhu Lang's trying to get up. There are enough of them where they can do it. There are actually 15, 15 Reapers here with no upgrades, but it doesn't matter. Once again, the Ling's trying to navigate this minefield. We all getting blown into all sorts of directions and taking 10 damage per shot. They're going to pick off some of these. Some of these Reapers. That was a decent number of Reapers. Oh, just one? Really? One Reaper died? One <laughs> Reaper died. <laughs> you Thermal, is he doing this? He's transitioning. He's getting Stim. He's getting Marines. And he should be able to transition into the mid-game here fairly effectively, which is kind of one of the reasons there were changes to Reapers in the latest... Uh, latest little patches here. I'm not, I don't think this is on the very, very latest patch of StarCraft 2, but anyway, Bailing Nest on the way from Zhu Lang. And plus one melee attack here, too. So he's working on these Ling upgrades, possibly going to try to get to Ultras at some point. He's got his lair started at about the five-minute mark, which is a little bit late in ZVT, but not if you're dealing with a three racks Reaper opening. Is that a third base? Third base for you, Thermal. Almost done here just south of his main. That is a very safe location to put it. And here comes the drop. So you, Thermal can do a six minute double medevac drop, missing three marines so they're not full, even after going three racks reaper with about 20 reapers to start. I mean, he is ridiculously good at this game and we'll see if Zhu Ling can handle it. I don't know that he can, but Lings and Banelings are pretty good against this early drop, especially because the marines won't have many upgrades. Plus one, plus one, not anywhere near done. Stim is finished, which is good, but he does reveal his location by dropping and killing an Overlord and supply blocking Zhu Lang here along the right side. Marine's going to march up this ramp. There are enough Zerglings. Plus one Carapace. Plus one attack is just about finished too. Another Overlord dies. Ling trying to get that surround off even without plus one attack. Doing pretty well. Then the plus one kicks in and the Marines, you can hear them start to die. As again, plus one, plus one Lings against non-upgraded Marines are pretty fantastic. Reapers, you forgot about us? Says you, Thermal. Going to kill this Queen. Oh, actually knocking the Queen to safety. Knocking her over that lair. Lings, are they going to finish these guys off? Whoa! Finishing them off. The Reapers. Nowhere to go. They're just here to scout at this point. Maybe kill another drone. Nope. Completely dead. Marines charging into the third base. Getting chased away by Lings and Queens. And Zhu Ling has done this pretty, pretty much as well as you can with Zerglings. Maybe I have to amend my statement and say you can do this with Lings. If you get upgrades for them. And you don't try to engage... <laughs> the reapers until you have those upgrades 56 links have died for 10 reapers 1700 resources lost for zhu lang entirely entirely minerals on that and about 1500 resources lost for you thermal about an even split there between minerals and gas just because again reapers are pretty gas intensive that's plus two plus two melee attack and ground carapace i think he's trying to get either okay so plus two bailings do one shot scvs do they one shot SCVs or just probes SCVs have a little bit more HP. I think I think it's still one shots SCVs, even if your opponent is Terran. Another drop coming along here. Got a spire morphing on in for Zhu Lang. Creep spread looking pretty fantastic here as well. For Zhu Lang. Got Widow Mines marching up in front of this Marine army. Plus one plus one is now done on the Marines. Zerglings trying to pick these guys off. Bailing does finish off one of the Widow Mines. Not an effective trade, but again, Zerg isn't always cost efficient. Trying to get a Widowmine shot. There it is. Four kills on that Widowmine. Any overseers is the question for Zhu Lang. He has one. I don't know where it is, but I guess we could click on it. And it is kind of trailing behind the action. They're a little bit slow. As it turns out, Bailing's getting target fired down by you, Thermal. But can't go up on this high ground because there are Lings and Bailings waiting for that there. Did you see him drop one of the Marines to pick off a Bailing? That is such a good trade. And really, Terran, if you want to beat Zerg, just make 300 cost-efficient trades over the course of a 20-minute game, and you'll do it. <laughs> I know, it's a tall order. It is much harder than it sounds. Euthermal is such a skilled player. Another Widowmine shot going to... Whoosh! 25 kills on that Widowmine! Where is Austin? I think Austin stopped watching the cast, but he would rage at that particular hit right there. More Banelings on the way. This pressure from Euthermal is not messing around. Banelings getting some good hits on the Marines, even if they are split. How did that one not die? I guess it was just one Baneling, right? Yeah. One Baneling, not enough to kill a Marine straight up. Is that? Yeah, I think that's true. Anyway, more Lings and Banes, more Marines and Marauders coming from the top here from you, Thermal. Oh, and that's a good game. That is a good game out of Zhu Lang. Liquid Thermal is victorious here. Just continuing to stream down innumerable Marines. Off of three bases, the four bases for Zhu Lang, not enough. It was 71 to 60 harvesters, but he couldn't keep up in production. He had 11 mutilisks out, but nothing to deal 
with the Marines. Literally nothing on the ground. He had zero things except for five queens there. Great job. So this is actually going to be a sneaky twofer, as you might have figured out. So don't touch that dial. We'll be back with game two between Liquid Thermal and Zhu Lang here. We'll see if Zhu Lang can tie it up in just a second. Sneak twofer game number two will be between Zhu Lang and Thermi here on Defender's Landing, the latter edition. In the top right corner of the map, having a 1-0 to zero lead on his Zerg opponent is the Blue Terran player. It is Thermi. And in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, we have the Red Zerg player. It is Zhu Lang. All right, again, Zhu Lang did a great job with the early Reaver harassment, but didn't get the Mutas out in time to go along with his Banelings and his Lings to pick off the Metavacs, which are such a huge part of defending what Thermi was trying to do. And I think I tried saying this in game number one. It didn't quite come out well, but that's one of the reasons that Reapers were nerfed a little bit is because the ability to go from three racks Reaper, which is unquestionably cheese, and just transition straight into a regular Marine Widowmine Medivac type play with really suffering no punishment for cheesing, just it doesn't make any sense. It's not something that StarCraft, not something that Blizzard wants to see. If you're going to cheese, if you're going to six pool, for example, or 12 pool, and go all in with Zerglings and not kill your opponent, you probably should be on the back foot to some extent. But again, three racks Reaper, there's really no reason not to do it if you're good enough as you Thermal is. And we saw that in game number one. Pool on the way, Extractor there too. And uh, so it looks like he went Pool Hatch Extractor this time. Didn't get that Extractor out first. His gas will be a little bit late, but I think that's going to be okay. Is he going to be prepared? For another three racks Reaper, potentially here from you, Thermal. So first barracks is done. If this is going to be a Reaper, I don't want to quite name it yet in case it's a group. Yeah, there it is. There's a Reaper. It looks like just a regular Reaper expand, though. He is saving up the minerals to go for that other base. So yeah, we're going to call it that. We're going to go Reaper expand and Reaper names. This is going to be Balthazar. Balthazar, you will make a fine puppet. And Alex says, uh, please, Lord Balthazar, I'm sorry that Deathrock died, but I swear I had nothing to do with it. Balthazar says, that does not matter, mortal, for you sold your soul to him so that you could make ludicrous amounts of Reaper names, and now you are mine. Alex, vigorously the ping in Reaper names. Help me! Yep, Alex sold his soul to make Reaper names, and now they are calling to collect. Bad times. Now here's Balthazar coming out with his Reaper guns. And his grades, grades, and his grenades, and saving the life of an SCV already. That's one point there. But Queen, stabbing away, stabbing away. Ling there on the high ground. This is a pretty good Reaper. I think he's going to finish off that Ling, no problem. Bam! Goodbye, Zergling. Drones are ripe for the picking. Oh, he picks one drone off immediately. Another one does change itself into a Spore, which hurts. But it's not as bad as dying. It is basically choosing a fate that is not worse than death. As they cancel the spores, lose some income there, as we can see here. 136 resources lost compared to zero, so, so far, so good for Balthazar. Queen getting some more shots off on that guy. Ling's trying to kill him, but he's doing such a good job just staying off the creep and juking around where they think he's going to go. This is what you could do with in the hands of a good Reaver pilot. If you're Euthermal, for example. So, so far, so good. Kitty get charged does blow those Lings away, allowing him to kill one. Five kills on this dude. Is that two drones? That's two drones he's got. And three Lings, four Lings. Woo. And he's not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. This Reaper is not done yet. We do have a couple Hellions coming down to augment this. Trying to juke his way. Oh, kills another Zergling. And another Zergling. Eight kills on this dude, Balthazar. Balthazar, you're so mean. More Lings being forced to be created here from Zhu Lang. He doesn't want to, but no, Balthazar, no! Busy controlling the Hellions down here, I guess. So Balthazar's dead. He, uh, two drone kills and like five Lings. That's borderline. That's borderline Hall of Fame. Don't think I'm going to do it as the Hellions do get picked off there, but they've killed quite a few drones, four of them. In that harassment, third base on the way here for Zhu Lang. And a Widowmine drop, a Widowmine drop follow-up from Euthermal. He's so aggressive. He is so dang aggressive. Queens stabbing at the Medivac, trying to kill those. But the Widowmines burrow in, and they're going to fire. Oh, okay. That was all right. That was not as terrible as it could have been. One and four kills on that second Widowmine. Medivac trying to pick him up. And does manage to pick them up. Where are the other queens going? Where are you going? 
Oh, medevac, don't get shot down. Oh, the queen's going the wrong angle, though. The wrong angle. There's still one here in the main base. I'm not sure if you're trying to escape or trying to come back in for more. New thermal, but that's 10 drones killed in the first four minutes. That is pretty good stuff. If you happen to be a Terran player. Yep, queen. Continuing to stab at that medevac. As soon as the medevac gets close enough to get hit, there are two queens ready for it. I don't know if this medevac is getting out of here alive. Maybe you could sneak around this left edge, just out of the range of the queen attack. Creep spread looking amazing from Zhuling. It was good in game one. It was just kind of overshadowed by how aggressive and how nonstop Liquid Thermal was. Overlord scouting, but Viking finds him. Your scouting days are over, says the Viking pilot. Did he get back in? He got back in with both Widowmines. The medevac's dead. Okay, the one Widowmine died, but that's six kills? Hot diggity, 16 drones dead and supply blocked is Zhu Ling. It's 28 to 40 harvesters. Zhu Thermal has been SCVing up behind this as fast as he terribly can. He's got a third command center. Just about done. Zhu Ling at 30 drones at the five and a half minute mark is not where you want to be. Not where you want to be. Finally, that Widowmine does get picked off thanks to Spore Crawler. Detection was a little bit late in coming from Zhu Ling, but he paid the price for it. Roach Warren just about done. Lair just now getting started here for Zhu Ling as well. And tanks for you. Thermo, one tank moving into additional barracks. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a bio, bio type, play, type play. He's not going to mech it here today. That is for certain. Hellions trying to hold that map control. There are four of them. Zerglings with speed, especially on creep. Pretty scary stuff. Picking off a creep tumor. More queens coming up to plant some more creep tumors, right? Oh, wow. A lot of creep tumors. Like seven creep tumors. Why not? Why not put seven of them up here at the front line? The more creep tumors, the faster it spawns, right? I think there's an upper limit to that. I don't think you can put 16 creep tumors right here and have it instantly push out. I think two or three might be as many as makes a difference, but look how fast that is. Look at how fast that is. Creep spread spreads faster in this patch of StarCraft 2, and it also recedes faster once the tumor is dead, or the hatchery is dead. Dead. Yu Thermal throwing a supply depot up just to see if he can get that timing down as to when Zhu Lang is going to take his fourth. Where'd that Viking go? Oh, here's the Viking. Viking trying to kill more overlords. Queens ready to shoot them in the face. Supply depot does get picked off by his Erglings saying, You can't deny this, but this third base is done for Yu Thermal. Jeez, it's 56 to 44 harvesters. Viking flies in. Gonna just commit suicide. I don't. Yu Thermal's usually a little bit more careful than that, but did not go well for the guy. Creep spread, continuing to push its way across the map. Infestation pit. Morphing, building. Technically, the word is building here for this. Plus one, plus one on the way for the Lings and the Banelings and the Ultras. Again, I think we're going to see Ultras. He keeps going for these melee attack upgrades instead of missile, which is usually what you see if you have Roach Ravager is the missile attack. But Zhu Ling says no. Don't like missile attack, even if I do have a few roaches and ravagers. Empty medevac coming in. Is that bait? What is this? Is this just a distraction? I think it's... I mean, it would be just a distraction, but that... I mean, there's nothing coming anywhere else. I guess there's a drop coming around this right side, but... The distraction's already gone, and Zhu Lang's attention can still be focused. Oh, he's double dropping. Ooh, you thermal! You beast! Is this a quadruple... Hellion drop quadruple. Hellion drop. Ling's coming to deal with this one. Going to shove it away. Marines marching on down the ramp to where the fourth base would be. There's not a fourth base to kill. What? Our in intel was bad. Pull out. Pull out. There's no fourth base. That means an attack is imminent. We're going to three base this thing. Got two infestors in production. I don't think he has pathogen glands. He does not. No pathogen glands for our Zerg player. He might regret that. Creep spread. Creep Spread Queen is dead, and all of her pretty, pretty precious Creep Tumor are going to die, too. Except for this one, which is outside of the Circle of Doom. Got some Hellbats in there, too. Does you Thermal Crosa Biles killing a Marine. That's good. I mean, killing something is better than killing nothing. And here comes a giant plus one, plus one Marine Tank Hellbat attack. At 8 minutes and 55 seconds, trying to Crosa Bile this thing down and dodging it ably. Stutter stepping into this. Medivac's overhead. Healing so effectively. Infested Terrans desperately top down, and that's it. A good game from Zhu Lang. You thermal. Two O's this guy in nine minute games apiece, and just th puts fear into the heart of every Zerg player on planet Earth. This dude is good. He is so good at the StarCraft. You thermal. Terran players learn, learn from him. Yeah, I mean, this is not going to look pretty, is it? Uh, 5,000 resources lost for Zhu Lang compared to 1,900 for Yu Thermal, so far less than half. 
16 drones killed compared to two SCVs lost. I think those SCVs came across the map for different reasons and died. Which means Zhu Lang was not able to get up any kind of an attack. Euthermal never allowed him to do it. I mean, honestly, this might be sacrilege, but Euthermal reminds me of Byun in a lot of ways. Gets that three base up, and then it's just constant production. Coming on down, making good micro decisions, splitting well, attacking into your units, and murdering them, not letting the Zerg player ever get to a place where they're so comfortable they can just macro up and get a huge army and kill you. It's just, it's not something that Euthermal will allow. As we see here, this Infester has one hit point and no kills because Infested Terrans are bad. Actually, never even hatched. That's part of why they're bad. They have to hatch. All right, so that's going to be it from me. This is Ben, Falcon Paladin, coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.